Well, nearly 30,000 adults in the 10 county region uh, that makes up southwest central Indiana don't have the equivalent of a high school diploma, and over 9,000 of those in Monroe County alone. But now a new partnership between Ivy Tech Community College, the Broadview Learning Center in Bloomington, and Cook Group is designed to change education and employment for those residents. And I'm pleased to be joined now by the new president at Ivy Tech Community College, Dr. Sue Elsperman, and Pete Yonkman, the president of Cook Medical and Cook Group, to talk about this new uh, initiative. Welcome to the program. Thank you. And, and Thank Pete, you. I'll, I'll start with you. And first of all, off the top, Cook Medical, and Cook Group, give us a thumbnail because obviously you're a major asset not only to South Central Indiana but the entire state, but give us the breakdown. Sure, so Cook Group is the parent company of the Cook family of companies. People are probably most familiar with Cook Medical, it's the oldest, mm -hmm. biggest part of our company. But they may also know French Lake Resorts, mm -hmm. uh, Cook Biotech yeah. up in West Lafayette. If you think about what we do, we really make the tools that are the, the basics for physicians who are practicing minimally invasive medicine. So uh, we're headquartered in, in Bloomington, Indiana. Over the years, we've grown to about 13,000 employees. Mm -hmm. We're unique in that we're family owned and operated mm -hmm. by the Cook family since 1963. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have a lot of the, uh, a very diverse uh, broad line of products like stents, catheters, and wire guides. Talk about this uh, this uh, innovative uh, partnership with Ivy Tech uh, and others that's really zeroes in uh, on workforce development and growing your own talent uh, in a way. What's the demand? What's the need to do this? Well, I'll tell you, we, we spent a lot of time over the last few months talking to and listening to our employees. And, and one of the things we asked them was, what are the things you like about Cook? What are the things you'd like to see improved? And and what came up time and time again was this desire to go back to school, to, to mm -hmm. further education, and, and to expand their careers. And so we wanted to do everything we could to, to support mm -hmm. that. Very quickly here, this is a kind of a three-pronged yeah. uh, uh, focus, if you will. Yeah. So we're making three big changes to the way we support education at Cook. Uh, the first is for folks who, who don't yet have a mm -hmm. high school diploma. Mm -hmm. They're now able to come to work at Cook, uh, work part-time, go at no cost to Broadview Learning Center, achieve their uh, mm -hmm. high school diploma, and then assuming they've done a great job for us part-time mm -hmm. and uh, they achieve their degree, they're able to come and, and mm -hmm. eligible for a full-time job. Mm -hmm. Sue, I know this is uh, your first week on the job yes, <laughs> at, at Ivy Tech, and I know workforce development obviously is a, is a major focus of your work. As you look at this partnership, uh, is this a model that you can uh, see being replicated? Why is this an important model? Well, in absolutely. In fact, this model evolved in southwest Indiana with Old National Bank and some other partners down there, and it really is to meet the very same need. We have hundreds of employers that sit in a Cook mm -hmm. Medical situation where they have great employees. Mm -hmm. They'd like to have them be able to fill these jobs mm -hmm. up in their organization and help keep them and mm -hmm. fill that skills gap but having the ability for people to go back uh, this program requires no out-of-pocket cost to mm -hmm. the employee and it's done in conjunction with the human resources in the company so that these people are really coming they're pursuing degrees and credentials that will help promote them yeah. within the organization there and so it's a wonderful degree but we see great potential across the state and, and importantly again this is about growing Indiana growing its Correct. own talent right That's these are people who are right. already there well, there's a tremendous shortage, and we know from all of our research, whether it was the Lumina goal of 60% of Hoosiers having post-secondary degrees by 2025, or talking to the employers themselves, we know this big gap, yeah. and we want Hoosiers yeah. to fill these high-skill jobs yeah. that we have produced here in Indiana. We heard that a lot from our folks. So what they mm -hmm. said was, uh, we have a desire to go back to school for their education, so that's why we created, uh, we think it's a really great partnership with Ivy Tech and a program they call Achieve Your Degree. Mm -hmm. So now our folks can enroll in one of seven degree-seeking programs. Mm -hmm. uh, they're related to the business that we do. Uh, they can enroll in that, no cost to them, go back, get their education, and hopefully have the new skill set to expand their What's career. What's been the, the early reaction to this, to this program? It's been tremendous. So we just rolled this program out in the first few weeks. Uh, already we have 100 folks who are enrolled in the fall uh, sessions for Ivy Tech. Mm -hmm. We've had more than 25 people who have enrolled in this part-time program to, to go back and get their high school diploma, so it's been really great. In, in the life sciences, and Cook is, is an all-star in Indiana in the life sciences, is a very important sector, and I think this program is indicative uh, of the fact that it's not all PhDs and advanced degrees in the life sciences. There are thousands of jobs potentially uh, with uh, that don't don't need that advanced. That's absolutely right. So the vast majority of our jobs don't require some sort of advanced secondary degree. They're mostly high school diploma, college. Uh, associates and bachelor degrees. Yeah, and Sue, in our last remaining 30 seconds or so, first week on the job, I know you've been around the state in a listening tour at Ivy Tech and uh, getting your, your feet under your, so to speak, as you look at the landscape out there, your your thoughts, especially as it relates to, well, to workforce. Particularly excited.
excited because Ivy Tech has the footprint across our entire state, serving 170,000 students, 32 campuses, the capacity to really meet this workforce need and to fill this gap with the skilled uh, jobs, the employees that our employers need. And so we're going to focus heavily on workforce development and all of the needs of our employers and just see many great opportunities at Ivy Tech. All right, very good. Sue Elsperm at Ivy Tech Community College. Pete Yonkman, president at uh, Cook Group. Thank you both, and we'll follow the Thank progress. You. Thank you. All right. Well, a reminder, all of our ION education segments can be found at InsideIndianaBusiness.com. And if you have an interesting story idea, please send it to segment producer Shannon Dawson at sdawson at growindiana.net.